All right, so I was uh, in the process of cleaning my uh, handguns, and I decided to go over my 43X build, because as far as the handgun goes, it is done. The only thing left is I will be getting a Micro-Roni kit, when, uh, or Nano-Roni kit, when it comes out, but I'll be throwing the factory slide back on for that, because it doesn't work with aftermarket slides. I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly. Um, for magazine, I've got the uh, Shield Arms 15 round magazine. So that's my carry magazine. I've got the Recover Tactical or whatever it's called, uh, Picatinny system. So let me pop my OLED off here. So yeah, I got the little Picatinny system, and that's how I normally carry it, because I don't have a holster that fits the Olight PL Mini V2. But, slap that back on. It's got a quick release, so it's actually not too inconvenient to take that off and put it on and everything like that. Real quick, I'll show as well. There is nothing in the chamber, so. And, uh, so I got a Hive magazine release, uh, extended little magazine release. You have to get an aluminum for the Shield Arm magazine because it'll actually tear up the polymer one that it comes with. It has the Talon grips right now. Now I've got a Rogue grip on the way, so I'm going to try that. It's the one that just sticks up on here and slides on. So I'm going to test that out too. But uh, so far the Talon Grips worked really well. So I like I like it a pretty pretty good bit. I have a Bastion uh, slide plate. And I have True Glow Tritium Night Sights. And I have videos on the night sights, so I go over those. Uh, Zafari Precision Ported Barrel and Slide, so a little combo deal. So my barrel is ported and it matches 100% with my slide. And I have a video to come on this, but I got a Apex Trigger. Now I will say there's some sponginess in there, so like when I pull it before I hit that wall, there's some. A little bit of sponginess. Like, feels like it stops there. Like, that should be the break. Then it lets me pull a little bit more before it breaks. That might wear out a little bit, but it does feel more crisp than the factory trigger. I haven't gotten to shoot it yet with that, though. Uh, so that's, that's to come in the future. So that's the build so far. And uh, I guess for the most part, this is actually done besides getting an actual Cerakoted frame. Um, so I will get a Cerakoted frame in the future. It's just right now, everybody is sold out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll do a video on every single thing. I've already did the sights. Um, I'll do a video on the trigger once I get a chance to go and actually use the firearm. I'll do a video on the port a barrel and slide and go in a little bit more in depth in it. Um, I've already reviewed the Olight. I mean, there's not a whole lot to discuss. It's super bright. It works. It doesn't fall off. I'll do a video about that uh, rail system, too, because I'm actually really impressed with that rail system for $30. So, yeah, that's the build so far. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Got a lot of a lot of money invested in this little 43X, but I am very pleased with it. I'm not disappointed. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like. Subscribe to the channel. I got a ton of other videos. Got way more to come. Uh, catch y'all later.